Look at this. Boop, 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 Look at the road. And this suspension just, you know, recently I just bought this new 2022 Yamaha MT-07. And a lot of complaints that I hear on the MT-07 is that the suspension sucks. And also for the MT-09. And that's what they did come out with the MT-09 SP version with a premium suspension to correct some of those issues. But they don't have an SP version for the MT-07, which is stupid in my opinion. Um, they make one for the MT-10 and MT-09, but not for the MT-07. And this is one of the most hottest selling bikes. I think this outsells the MT-09 and MT-10. But I'm going to tell you in this video whether I think this suspension sucks or not. And do you really need to upgrade to a premium suspension on this bike. I'm going to keep it real with you guys. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. You can't adjust the front fork. It's a KYB non-adjustable front fork. Uh, the shock, you can adjust it. It comes with an uh, adjustment wrench. And you can adjust the preload and the rebound on it. I'm going to tell you this, guys. No matter what motorcycle you get, make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe. And I have some links to all of my awesome gear like this airbag vest to help keep you safe. I never leave home without it. My favorite helmet ever, my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tint shield. My gauntlet gloves that are awesome, jacket, boots, gloves, motor vlog camera. Links are in the description and comment section of this video. This is the best bang for your buck motorcycle hands down and one of the best street bikes I hear, man. I'll tell you guys, lightweight package, Stock form, I think 406 pounds. You can get it less sub 400 once you mod it. Um, I tell you, I had a, I owned the MT09, and I will tell you this, guys, is that off the bottom, that there's really no difference up to say 60, 70 miles an hour, which you want out here on the streets. MT09 is a little faster, obviously, with the top end or whatnot. But honestly, I like this bet bike better than the MT09 that I own. But let's, I'm going to tell you this, guys, as far as the suspension, I live in now in Cleveland, Ohio, permanently. I did live in, I had a home in Georgia in the country for a while there, and I was kind of between both homes. But I sold that and made an awesome profit. I, I, could, I could get any motorcycle I want, and I've had some really fast bikes. I had a 2017 Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory, which won the shootout. Um, uh, every year for like three or four years, uh, CBR 1000 RR, uh, Ducati X Diablo. I've had some fast uh, bikes, and um, I will be honest with you guys is that <laughs> honestly, for street riding out here in the urban city, hooligan cruising, doing whatever I want to do, the seating position, everything, I like this bike the best. Like I said, next to my YZ 450FX Custom Supermoto. But as far as the suspension on this bike, I have to say that I like the suspension better on this, even though it's budget. It's not top of the line. Obviously, it is a budget suspension. Uh, but for street riding, a soft suspension is fine and is actually good for these horrible streets of Cleveland that have potholes and tar snakes and uh, terrible roads out here in Cleveland. And these just soak up the bumps just fine, man. Um, if you have a race suspension on this and you're riding in, in the city of Cleveland, guys, you're going you're gonna to feel that. It's going to radiate through your body with a hard, uh, you know, firm suspension. So you, it's nice to have a softer suspension. But I'll tell you, on the MT-09, I call it a fake supermoto because I don't like the chassis on the MT-09. I love the engine. The triple cylinder engine was awesome. The grunt, a uh, bottom end, that was awesome. But I, I, I just did not like the chassis. I didn't like the, the seat, how it sloped down and it like put you into the tank. And I did, the overall, the bike just felt weird to me, man. It felt like it wanted to be a supermoto, but it isn't. No way. Yeah. And I own a supermoto. But the suspension just did not jive well on that bike. Um, the budget suspension on here, the chassis is it, fine with this setup. You don't get any pogo like effect on this like you do the MT09. Um, but I'm not I'm a light I'm lightweight. I'm only a buck 70, 170 pounds and with gear is about 190. And I have and I have you can adjust the rear shock, the preload and rebound or whatever on on this. Um, but 
you can adjust the front fork at all but it's fine for me man it's i do not feel the need to upgrade the suspension on this bike at all whatsoever man uh like i said it does what i want to out here on the streets when i rip the throttle it doesn't squat it doesn't have rear squat um when I, uh, you know, it doesn't have the pogo effect, like I said, like the uh, the MTL9 kind of had. And, and I'm, you see these little horrible, look at that. Look at this, the roads, look, look. Patches, potholes that are patched up and tire snakes. Look at all these tire snakes. And this suspension just soaks it all up. I don't feel, I don't feel it radiating through my body like I would on a bike that had a more firm suspension. Um, it's perfect it's fine you don't the, you hear the haters out there you know a lot of people haven't even rode the mtl7 and they hate on it but i ask you to please try a mtl7 the new the new generation 2021 plus i can't speak of the previous generation they did make some improvements on this new generation that i think are good it's a much better looking bike in my opinion and it feels great it feels a quality bike um I love this bike man but the suspension is just fine okay now if you're heavier if you're a really big dude you probably should be losing some weight hit the gym because you know it's bad for your health to be overweight so lose some weight get get uh, get lean and then when you ride this motorcycle you'll be just fine now if you are lean and you're just a big dude muscle bound dude and you weigh like 200 plus pounds and i don't know try the bike and see how it is for you you know what i'm saying but you can upgrade for like about fifteen hundred dollars i think you can upgrade to a nice nicer suspension that'll be perfectly set up for you fifteen hundred dollars is not that much this what you pay for this bike is dirt cheap in my opinion man i mean you can get this bike for nine thousand dollars brand new out the door maybe not now because some of the dealerships are charging they're charging top dollar because these bikes are so hot now even use mtl 7s they want top dollar for like i said this is the only bike that i pay damn near msrp for i always get deals on all the bikes i've had this is but i still walked away feeling like i got a bargain on this bike and even if i put a 1500 dollars suspension on here which i won't um it will still be a bargain uh they should make an sp version for this bike though they really should man um because this is like i said this is one of the most popular motorcycles out there and it, it is for a reason this thing is fun man you rip on this throttle which i'm not going to do right here because the speed limit's 25 and i don't want to get a ticket there's some cops over here sometimes so i'm just chill but uh the bottom end on this is awesome man i'm telling you like i said zero to 60 you're not going to you're not going to miss an MTL9 or MT10 or any other bike. It's 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 got what you the beans off the bottom, man. It's it's fun. And it's in a lightweight package. And it's comfortable and it just feels right. It feels natural. It feels good. Right now you see I'm see all these ho look at this. Look at the road. Look at that. And the suspension just soaks it up and I feel good. Look. Boop 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 boop. boop, boop. Suspension is just fine, man. Now, if you want to see a bad suspension, guys, buy a Suron X electric, one of those electric dirt bike deals like I have. <laughs> that suspension is horrible, man. I let a friend ride ride mine, and he was like, man, this suspension is... <laughs> this is a horrible suspension. Now, it's okay when you take it off-road, but on the street, it's bouncy, man. It's terrible. But a lot of people upgrade it to a Fox suspension or whatever suspension on those. But this one, you don't need to upgrade to it, man. Seriously, you don't need to upgrade the suspension. It's just fine. Like I said, if you're fat, lose some weight. You're a real big dude. Then just pony up the extra money and get a proper suspension. But anyways, guys, leave a comment below. For those of you that own uh, the newer generation, I don't know about the old generation, 2021 plus MTL7, how do you like the suspension? Did you upgrade to a, a better suspension? If you did, what suspension did, suspension did you upgrade to? Leave a comment below and, and or just ask me anything else you want to. I love talking with you guys in the comments. 
but anyways guys make sure to hit thumbs up really helps my channel when you do make sure to hit subscribe button make sure to hit the little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos come up but i release new videos every sunday tuesday and thursday at 11 30 a.m eastern standard time and i got a ton of videos i'll be doing on this build videos and uh, just having fun videos and everything else coming up on this bike so stay tuned check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.